Okay. I was wiping my nerves. <laughs> Christine, you've been with this project. You really initiated it, what, a couple years ago? Yeah, so the project started with um, a collaboration with the city of Copenhagen. Uh, we've been researching with them. They're interested in bicycles, of course, and we're interested in getting even more people on bikes. So you were a student at MIT, a graduate student. I was, yes. How did it start? Like, there must have been a beginning founding idea, the day before which there was no bike and then something happened. So let's think about it. We know that 50% uh, of people commute to work by bicycle. And how do we get even more people on bikes? Well, we might make the bike smarter. We make the bike something that can become your personal trainer. We make the bike something that will increase your range so that elderly people can get on it. Uh, we make the bike something that's fun to ride, fun and sexy to ride. And it's interesting that, you know, Copenhagen was a great co uh, city to work with because they've been in the absolute lead here. Uh, someone last night was talking about the fact that it's difficult to do this with a U.S. city because they've got, you know, just such resource issues. But there's nothing quite like a big socialist city to try some R&D, is there? <laughs> this is very true. So we've had a lot of support from the city of Copenhagen, um, and incredible support from our other partners as well, from the Italian Ministry for the Environment and Ducati Energia. But this is a great test bed. Um, everybody's really accepting of the technology, and even people who already own three or four bikes, you love this bike. So. Now what's interesting is, okay, so yesterday you announced it, and, and it was kind of like mares galore. Everybody was running up to you on a soft, basically saying, can we buy some, can we try some? Talk to me a little bit about why there's such interest from all these cities. I think there's interest at the moment because we're moving to an era where we need more green transportation technologies. Uh, this excites people because it's easily retrofittable into any bike. Uh, so it's something which, if we see the hub here, we have all of the components packed in. People don't have to buy a whole bike, they can just buy the wheels. And this excites mayors because it means that it can be distributed more easily through their city. Um, and it, it's a major focus for, there's a lot of, um, yeah. You know, one of the, I tell you, one of the fun <laughs> things about this is, as, as, as a technology marketing guy, this is at once very new, and yet it seems ordinary, right? I mean, you look at it, it's a red thing on a wheel, and yet it changes many, it becomes your coach, it, it, it plugs into the city's grid for, for information, it, it gives you a boost. And so what, what I've enjoyed working with this team and making this announcement is trying to tease all those things out. We are up kind of all night writing the product introduction stuff. It reminded me of Apple years ago when we first introduced Hypermedia, and we had to explain to the world what was a link, because it's so new, the idea that your existing bike gives you a boost, that it sits on a network. Um, have you found the communications challenge interesting at times to explain to people what's so different, or do they have to try it to believe it? You certainly have to try it to believe it, but the communication here, I think, is allowing people to understand how easy it is to use, um, and you know how it becomes a seamless integration into your life through just controlling through your iPhone, putting it in the back of the bike, um, giving you a boost when you need it, using simple metaphors like that. There are some really good resources on the web that talk about this if you're interested. Uh, what's the URL for your, uh, for your site at MIT? So we're at the Sensible City Lab, MIT.edu, um, and everything can be found there under the Copenhagen Wheel Project. And there's some great videos that come from here that show the mares on it, that show it being used, that get into the technology, that do an exploded view that shows what's going on in there. Uh, it's the beginning of something that will be commercialized over the next, what, year or so. Yeah. Twelve months we're hoping to have it on the market. Thanks. It's cold here, so now we get to go back inside and find let's, some mares. Let's do it.